party. Okay, so we're at Chocolate Tree. We made a turnaround. We decided to have a little bite here and then go somewhere else. All right, hold on. There's Ben. <laughs> so Dara has revealed that although she extremely is fond of these waffles, that she makes them even better. Why is that, Dara? Well, okay, I don't make waffles because I don't have a waffle maker, but I buy the mix from here because you can get it. You can get the mix. At, you can order it from Chocolate Tree, and it's the most amazing pancake waffle mix. And you just mix it with water, and then you put it on the pan, and you have these cute little pancakes that are moist and fluffy. I think they're moister than this. This feels hard. Yeah. I like when things are a little moister. I'm going to eat it with my hands. Okay. No, I'm not. Anyway, the point of the matter is you can buy the mix from Chocolate Tree, and it's amazing. So, we are going to be having an adventure. A different adventure. We're going to shine. We're going to have fun. We're not going to shine. No, we're not going. We're not going to shine. We're going to Coxcomb. To Coxcomb. One of the most unusual rock formations. What? It's a famous, strange place. Okay, Coxcomb. Here we come after our little like fortification. We're gonna fortify. Eat now, burn off it later. Yes. Okay. See you in a little bit. Where the restrooms are in Chocolate Tree. And this is a new lounge area they open, so when it's cool out, it's nice in there. And then um, Jeffrey Botticelli is in the chocolate room, and he's literally the best chocolatier. Can I show them a peek of you? That's the best chocolatier. He's an unsung hero because he doesn't shout himself out ever, but literally is the best. That's Jeffrey Botticelli. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to um, see the goodies, and I want to show them that I always get the chia crackers, and I get the flatbread, and da -da -da, you're not going to believe it. I'm gonna, oh, this. Look. Look. The it pancakes makes, and waffles. You just add water, and you make pancakes, and you throw blueberries on them, and they're incredible. Come with me, I'll show you the rest. Kitchen, kitchen. Oops. No, you first. Okay. Thank you. Need I say more? What's happening here? It's all the chocolate. And then we and look at the little cupcakes. I should have gotten those then. And look. All the goodies here, there's always juices. I favor the solar array. And then all the other goodies. And they even carry living libations, which I need to get some. I'm going to get some tomorrow. Living libations. So, that's it for now. I love this place so much. I just love it. Shall we? Let's go good. investigate a vortex of Sedona. Yes, but first can we say how much we love Chocolate Tree? I love Chocolate Tree. This place changed my life. I don't know if Me I would live in Sedona if it wasn't for Me Chocolate too. Tree. The synchronicities, the type of souls it brings in. Yes. With those souls that are brought in, the trippy, serendipitous encounters that I've had. Yes. The first person I met here was Aubrey Marcus in the oh. parking lot. Oh. I walked in, there was two people that I had followed for over seven years checking out. Uh. The second people I meet are long time people I followed. My first deep Sedona friendship was made here. Serendipitously, like we can go on and on all crazy stuff, so yeah. You wanna keep talking? No, I'm saying wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> and in closing, we love the <laughs> Sneakers match the situation. Oh, See that? My tan pants, the orange, the blue. That's our boy, Devin. Devin? He used to work at Chocolate Tree, he likes to climb Thunder Mountain. Oh. He's one of the Sedona local monkeys. Like you. He is like I me. Do you call yourself a local Sedona monkey? 
I would say. And what's the activity you do out there that makes me giggle? We bushwhack and scramble up hard to get two rocks. Yeah, he's just, Ben's doing like a mile of silly thing for me, but he's up to the tops of things and scrambling and whacking. <laughs> so we'll see where he takes us. Second tallest mountain is down the Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain. But you can't even see the sun up behind. Uh, it's like behind the red rock. It's very pretty. Um, your lymph is a um, sewer system of the body and 80% of the liquid in your body is in the lymph system. Um, the heart pumps the blood. Lymph doesn't have a pump, but what the lymph uses to move is movement, muscular movement. So when we're walking, we swing and you know, there's a huge lymph channel under both armpits. So when you're walking, Excellent. Do that while we walk. Do you know what I call the days that I don't get out onto the red earth? I call them suburban days. Like you're just having a suburban day unless you get out into nature. So get out. Get out. Be like Ben. He's out always. I'm trying to burn off that, that pancake mix. <laughs> Move the body. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>